Hello students, today we will discuss IB Physics HL paper 2, May 2019, times on 1. In this paper you should use calculator. My name is Nariman Malim. I'm located in Baku and here you can see my mobile and email. Two major sources to prepare for exam. It is a big huge textbook of Oxford 2014 or a small short textbook by Tim Kirk of Oxford 2014. For examiners, for sure, you should have physics data booklet with formulas because this booklet will be available for you at the exam. This is the cover page. Question 1. A girl rides a bicycle that is powered by an electric motor. A battery transfers energy to the electric motor. The EMF of the battery is 16 volt and it can deliver a charge of 43 kilo Kelvin when discharging completely from a full charge. A. The maximum speed of the girl on a horizontal road is 7 meters per second with energy from the battery alone. The maximum distance that the girl can travel under these conditions is 20 kilometers. Show that the time taken for the battery to discharge is about 3 times 10 to the third second. So we use simple formula for speed equals distance by time. We rearrange this formula for time, change kilometers into meters, and then we find the time what they require. Double I. Deduce that the average power output of the battery is about 240 watt. Section for one, voltage equals work over charge work equals voltage by charge so and charge should be kilo kelvin changed into kelvin on the other hand section 81 power equals energy over time energy equals work so work equals dq so we substitute the values and we get what they require Friction and air resistance act on the bicycle and the girl the, when they move. Assume that all energy is transferred from the battery to the electric motor. Determine the total average resistive force that acts on the bicycle and the girl. So uh, we assume that girl is moving at constant speed. It means that resistive forces is, are equal to the forces of engine. Section 2.3 uh, additional formula for power power equals force times speed. Rearranging this formula for force, we get power by speed. Power we use 241 and speed we use 7, so we get 34 Newton. The bicycle and the girl have a total mass of 66 kilograms. The girl rides up a slope that is at angle of 3 degrees to horizontal. Calculate the component of weight for the bicycle and girl acting down the slope. So not in the booklet, but it is recommended to memorize component along this slope equals mg sine angle of the slope. Here it is 3 degrees, so we get the, uh, the same value, 34 Newton. Double I. The battery continues to give an output of 240 Watt. Assume that the resistive forces are the same as in A3I. Ca calculate the maximum speed of the bicycle as it goes up the slope. Sub, uh, sum of backward forces is the resistive force and component of the weight. So 34 and 34 give us 38 Newton. Again, we assume that girl is moving at constant speed and the uh, forward force equals also 68 Newton and this uh, force is doing work and this work is due to the battery so two of section 2 3 power equals force times speed speed equals power by force and we get less speed On another journey up the slope, the girl carries an additional mass. Explain where the carrying this mass will change the maximum distance that the bicycle can travel along the slope. 
uh, our statement is that maximum distance will decrease reason due to conservation of energy uh, the energy electrical energy that we have should turn into potential energy uh, but uh, potential energy equals mgh so more mass less height so less height less distance V. The bicycle has a meter that displays the current and the terminal potential difference for the battery when the motor is running. The diagram shows the meter reading at one instant. The EMF of the cell is 16 volt. Uh, determine the internal resistor of the battery. So uh, 12, 12 volt is terminal potential difference. It means that out of 16 volt of EMF, 4 volt falls on internal resistance and 12 volt volt falls on external resistance. Current in both are the same, 6.5 volt amperes, because they are connected in series. So this uh, is called lost volts. It is voltage on internal resistor. It's EMF minus uh, terminal potential difference. And resistance will be lost volts by current. So we get 4 volt by 6.5, 0 0.62 ohm. E. The battery is made from an arrangement of 10 identical cells as shown. Calculate the EMF of one cell. So each parallel connection, if we call uh, EMF of one cell X, each parallel connection also is X. There are five of them connected in series, so we have 5X volts. And this 5x volt equals total voltage of the battery, 16 volt. From this we get x equals 3.2 volt. Internal resistance of one cell. If we call internal resistance of one cell x, then internal resistance of parallel connection x over 2. And we have 5 of them connected in series. So we have... 5 times x over 2 <coughs> and this uh, 2 point, actually 2.5x equals 0 0.62 from this we get the internal resistance of one cell 0 0.25 question 2 a. a beam of electrons each of the de Broglie wavelengths is incident on the film of silicon 30 the variation in the electron intensity of the beam with scattering angle is shown. Use the graph to show that the nuclear radius of silicon third is about 4 fer fermi meter. Um, just a moment. Femtometer. Femtometer. Right. So section 12.2 Give us formula for minimum, sine theta lambda over d. Minimum is found here at 18 degrees. 18 degrees. So, uh, from uh, rewriting this formula for diameter, we get 777, and then radius is will be 2 times less, so about 4. femtometer estimate ok right so double estimate using the result from E the nuclear radius thorium ok so silicon atomic number 14 radius so the thorium atomic number 96 formula for relating radius and atomic number atomic atomic number is given so let's find the re ratio of radiuses and then rewrite this for re radius of thorium and combine cubic root cubic root we have 96 over 14 cubic root we get 7.4 femtometer 
Right. Uh, three eyes. So just one reason why a beam of electron is better to, for investigating the size of nucleus than a beam of alpha particles of the same energy. So th the same section 12 to formula for minimum. Uh, not in the booklet formula for De Broglie wavelength. It is h over p. If we use formal linking energy and momentum, energy equals p squared over momentum, so we write p equals square. Uh, so actually, wavelength is inversely proportional to mass and energy. Energy is the same, mass is greater, so due to bigger mass, wavelength and angle are smaller. Smaller angle, difficult to do experiment. Accuracy is less. Four, outline why deviation from reservoir scattering are observed when high energy alpha particles are incident on nucleus. So nuclear forces act and nuclear recoils occur because mass is big, nucleus are reco recoiled. Comparable nucleus collide. B. Silicon surrogate can be formed from phosphorus by a process of beta plus decay. Write down the nuclear equation that represents this process. So what you should remember, don't forget, uh, neutrino here, and show that beta is has charge zero and nuclear number uh, charge plus one and nuclear number zero. The rest is given. So, right, okay. Double I. Sketch the Feynman diagram that represents this reaction. The diagram has been started for you. So, first of all, this process of beta plus decay can be simplified to decay of proton or even more simplified by decay of upper quark into down quark uh, and uh, upper quark experience weak interaction so we need mediator and mediator will be um, uh, according to section 7.3 will be W boson plus so I copied this diagram here so nothing happens to th this upper quark this down quark but one of the upper quark turn into down quark sending out omega plus boson why omega plus w sorry w plus because conservation of charge then uh, mediator w boson plus send out neutrino and beta plus particle because beta plus is Antiparticle, uh, the arrow should be against time. This is important. Energy is transferred to a hydron, hadron in attempt to separate its quark. Describe the implication of quark confinement of this situation. Uh, Quarks cannot be isolated. Why? Because as you see here, energy we give energy and it turns into another particle. Right, okay. C. A standard model was accepted by many scientists before the observation of the Higgs boson was made. Outline why it is important to continue research into the topic once a scientific model has been accepted by the scientific community. All models should be tested, so models need testing. Question 3. A beam of microwaves is incident normally on a pair of identical narrow slits S1 and S2. When a microwave receiver is initially placed at W, which is equivalent distance from the slits, a maximum intensity is observed. The receiver is then moved towards Z along a line parallel to the slit. Intensity maxima are observed at X and Y with one minimum between them. W, X and Y are consecutive maxima. A. Explain why intensity maxima are observed at X and Y. So. Uh, 
from S1 and S2 two ways superimpose and constructive interference take place when come in phase. This happens when pass difference is n times lambda. Uh, for W n is 0, for x n is 1 lambda, and for y n is 2 lambda. So pass difference is 2 lambda. The distance from S1 to Y is so much, and distance from S2 to Y is so much, determines the frequency. So pass difference we can find if we subtract from this value, this value. So if we go back, so pass difference we subtract from one length, one pass, we subtract another pass, so we uh, find two lambda, as we explained before. And so it means that lambda will be half of this pass difference, 0, 0, 31. For section 4.2, wave equation, C equals F lambda, rewritten for frequency C over, and uh, remi uh, recalling that it is speed of light, so we get the value for frequency. outline one reason why the maximum observed at W, X and Y will have different intensity from each other. The intensity of we radiated from a point here S1 and S2 decrease with distance as distance squared. Intensity of weight decreases from W to X and Y. D. The microwave emitted by the transmitter are horizontally polarized. The microwave receiver contains a polarizing filter. When the, re the receiver is at position W, it detects maximum intensity. The receiver is then rotated through 180 degrees above the horizontal dotted line passing through the microwave transmitter. Sketch the graph of the, on the axis provided to a low the variation of received intensity with rotation angle. So I use section 4.3 formula for intensity. It is cosine squared. So uh, when angle is 0, cosine is 1, so we have maximum intensity. When angle is 90, cosine is 0, we have 0 intensity. And when angle is 180, we have again minus 1 squared. Uh, so again maximum intensity. So this is how the graph looks. Question 4. A solid cylinder of height h and density rho rests on the, the flat surface. Show that the pressure exerted by cylinder on the surface is given by. So, section 3 2, pressure equals force over area, force is weight md, mass is rho v, d equals area by height for cylinder, and substituting this expression, we get rho g. Actually, it is formal for pressure of liquid. B. Uh, a tube of constant circular cross section sealed at one end contains an ideal gas trapped by a cylinder of mercury of length 0035. The whole arrangement is in Earth's atmosphere. The density of mercury is so much. When the mercury is above the gas column, the length of the gas is 0, 0,190. Show that this. Okay. So total pressure will be atmospheric pressure plus pressure from this uh, produced by this mercury. Section 3.2, ideal gas equation, PV equals nRT. Volume will be area by height, 0.190A. Substituting this value, getting this formula, and recalling that pressure is total pressure, we get what they want. Double I. The tube is slowly rotated until the gas column is above the mercury. The length of the gas column is now changed. The temperature of the trapped gas doesn't change during the process. Determine the atmospheric pressure. Give a suitable unit for your answer. So using previous result, in new situation, the total pressure will be uh, atmospheric minus mercury pressure and the height of uh, gas will be different. 
but uh, right sides are equal because number of molecules is the same R is constant, A is constant and temperature is constant so we uh, equ equate the left sides rearrange formula and uh, now we see that we need pressure of mercury but we got this formula rho GH in section A so it is pressure from liquid using this formula we will find pressure of mercury and then find atmospheric pressure outline why the gas particles in the tube hit the molecules surface, mercury surface less often after the tube has been rotated the same number of particles to collide with the larger surface area at the same speed now we go to question 5 question 5 a the moon Phobos moves around the planet Mars in a circular orbit I outline the origin of the force that acts on Phobos gravitational attraction outline why this force does no work on Phobos force acts, acts at 90 degrees so no work is done as according to 2-3 work is force displacement cosine of angle between them here it is 90 degrees so work is then zero b the orbital period of a moon orbiting a planet of mass m is given by the formula where r is the average distance between the center of the planet and the center of the moon i show that k equals so actually we should deduce this formula and decide what is k uh, so to make object to move in a circle a satellite to move in a circle we need formula from section 62 for gravitational force gm m r squared and also this gravitational force acts as centripetal force so formula for centripetal force 61 is mv squared over r for orbital speed we have circumference divided by period 2 pr over t we substitute this value and get rid of velocity and express force in terms of period then we realize that this is the same force so gravitational force is centripetal force and we substitute the expression for each rewrite this for r cube over t squared and realize that the coefficient here is g over pr p squared show so we showed it this double i the following data for the mass phobos system and the earth moon system are available so mass of earth earth moon distance is 41 times the mass Phobos distance the orbital period of the moon is 86 times the orbital period of Phobos calculate in kilograms the mass of the Mars so from previous result we get this expression we rewrite it for mass so we can use it both for um, Phobos and for moon I call it uh, Mars actually no Phobos and the moon and the mass is of the Mars of Earth so mass of Earth Mars divided by mass of Earth will be ratio of these expressions so kt k is uh, cancelled but uh, we get uh, ratio of radiuses cubed and reciprocal of ratio of periods squared so you we use the values 4186 rewrite this formula for mass of mars and we get this value next see the graph shows the variation of the gravitation potential between the earth and moon with distance from the center of earth the distance from the earth is expressed as a fraction of the total distance between the center of the earth and the center of the moon here we see that uh, the function has zero gradient somewhere at position 0 0.9 uh, 
gradient of the force equals minus dv over d, dr at this point. So here, at this point, where we have maximum, gradient equals 0, so force equals 0. So resultant force equals 0 uh, at distance 0 0.9 from Earth and 0 0.91 from Moon. So 10 two, section 10 two, for, uh, gravitational force expression, it means that the forces are equal and opposite. So we write expression for force from Earth uh, and force of Moon. We write this for mass of Moon. And then uh, we put all numbers given and we get the value. Question 6. A small metal pendulum bob is suspended at rest from a fixed point with a length of thread of negligible mass. E resistance is negligible. The pendulum begins to oscillate. Assume that the motion of the system is simple harmonic and in one vertical plane. The graph shows the variation of kinetic energy of the pendulum bob with time. Calculate in meters the length of the threads. State your answer to appropriate number of significant figures. So period will be two times swings. So time of the swing is 125. So from the highest position to the lowest to the highest, this is one swing and then returns another swing. Two swings is period. So one swing is 125. So period is 225. Then section 9.1, formula for period of pendulum, uh, square both sides, rewrite for L, substitute values, and we get 126 meters. The label of the graph with the letter X, the point where the speed of the pendulum is half that of its initial speed. If uh, speed is half, then uh, kinetic energy is a quarter. So a quarter of 20 is 5. So I marked this point. The mass of the pendulum bob is 75 grams. Show the maximum speed of the bob is about okay. So kinetic energy is half mv squared. Kinetic energy is uh, for initial so velocity v it is half mv squared. For uh, half velocity it is mv squared over four. This is for double I. So for double I. What I said for double I. So a quarter, this is how we marked. Now three I. So mass is given. Kinetic energy maximum is given. So velocity, kinetic energy half mv squared. We square root both sides and uh, rewrite and square root both sides and we get formula substitute values and we get uh, about 0 0.7 meters per second b uh, when the 75 gram bob is moving horizontally at 0 0.80 meters per second it collides with small stationary object also of mass 75 gram the object and the bob stick together. Calculate the speed of combined masses immediately after the collision. So uh, section 2.4, momentum equals mass times velocity. Conservation of momentum. Total momentum before equals total momentum after. Total momentum before is mv. Total momentum after is combined mass 2m times new speed. So new speed will be half of initial speed of uh, speed of collision 0 0.40. Show that collision is inelastic. In 
inelastic collision kinetic energy not conserved let's check so kinetic energy before was half mv squared kinetic energy after is mm, two times less in max scheme they give value so initial energy 24 millijoules final energy 12 millijoules energy lost 12 millijoules inelastic collision occur when energy is lost three points Three I sketch on the axis a graph to show the variation of gravitation potential energy. Sketch on the axis a graph. The data from the graph used in A is shown as a dashed line for reference. Just a moment. Sketch on the axis a graph to show the variation of gravitation potential energy with time. The data from the graph used in A is shown as a dashed line. So kinetic energy is shown. This is kinetic energy. They copied it here. So this is kinetic energy. And we should uh, draw a graph of potential energy. So potential energy and kinetic give us total energy. So potential energy is total energy, which is constant, minus kinetic energy. So. Uh, When kinetic energy is maximum, gravitation potential is zero, and so on. So when potential energy is zero, kinetic is maximum. So graph the same period but inverted, amplitude one half of the original, two boxes throughout the eye. So two boxes up, two boxes down. Yeah, okay, so we did this. The speed of the collision, the collision of the bulb and the object was measured using a sensor. This sensor emits a sound of frequency f and this sound is reflected from the moving bulb. The sound is then detected by the sensor as frequency f prime. Explain why f and f prime are different. So Doppler effect takes place. First sound is detected by bulb moving away, so frequency increases. Then sound is sent by moving away transmitter bulb frequency increases more so in the mark scheme we have mention of Doppler effect so you should write Doppler effect there is change of in the wavelength because the wave speed is constant there is change in frequency so something like this question 7 the moon has no atmosphere and orbits the earth the diagram shows the moon with rays of light from sun that are incident at 90 degrees to the axis of rotation of the moon a i a black body is on the moon surface at point a shows that the maximum temperature that the body can reach is 400 kelvin assumes that the earth and the moon are the same distance from sun so for uh, section 6 a 8 2 power emitted by object can be calculated if you know its temperature. Sigma is uh, Stefan Boltzmann constant. So temperature can be rewritten in this way because we have equilibrium intensity of emission, which is P over A, equals solar constant. So we substitute instead of P A solar constant, substitute E, uh, it is absolute. So E is 1 for absolute black body, black body, and uh, Stefan Boltzmann constant goes here, so we get some, uh, 400 Kelvin. Another black body is on moon surface at P, outline with, without calculation, why the maximum temperature on the black body at B is less than that at A. So if we look, so 
the same amount of energy falls but here falls on smaller surface here on bigger surface so on bigger surface means that uh, area is greater so temperature will be less the albedo of the Earth's atmosphere is 0 0.28 outline why the maximum temperature of a black body on Earth when the Sun is overhead is less than the, at point A on the Moon uh, so section A2 albedo tells us how much is scattered fraction of scattered so 28% it means that seven, only 72% is incident of the Uh, so on Earth only 72% will fall as a result the temperature will be less because less power falls less temperature question 8 a student ta makes a parallel plate capacitor of capacitor 68 nanofarad from aluminum foil and plastic film by inserting one sheet of plastic film between two sheets of aluminium. The aluminium foil and plastic film are so white, 450 millimeter wide. The plastic film has a thickness of 55 micrometer and a permittivity given here. AI calculate the total length of aluminium foil that the student will require. So we have capacitors, nanofarad we change into farad, width we change into meter, and D, uh, thickness we change into meters. So section 11.3 give us formulas for capacitance, and from this formula for capacitance we can find uh, length, length of the plate. So length of the plate will be 0 0.33, but because we need two aluminum foil plates, up and top and bottom, we multiply by two, we get 66, 0 0.66 meters. So this is a trick of examiner. So we need no, not only upper, top, but we also need bottom. So multiply by two. The plastic film begins to conduct when the electric field strength E, e in it exceeds so much. Calculate the maximum charge that can be stored on the capacitor. So 11.3 capacitance is equal charge over voltage. Charge equals capacitance by voltage. Uh, phi 1 voltage equals work over charge. Voltage equals uh, force time distance. Force is QE. So we get voltage equals ED because uh, field strength is constant. Actually, not in the booklet, remember this formula. For parallel plate capacitor, field strength equals voltage over distance between plates. Then voltage equals ED. So we have Q equals CV or CED. So we CED, we... Um, substitute values and we get the we get the answer uh, B student uses a switch to charge and discharge the capacity using the circuit shown the meter is ideal the amount of the battery is 12 volt the resistor R in the circuit has a resistance 1.2 kilo ohm calculate the time taken for the charge on the capacity to fall to 50% of its fully charged value. So 11.3 booklet charges changing according to this exponential function. Tau is uh, a reaction time RC. So uh, if we so uh, if we talk about 50%, it means that E minus uh, raised to minus T over tau reached 0 0.50 value. So we have this expression. So Q over Q0 equals 0 0.50. Uh, 
uh, if we take logarithm of both sides we get minus t over tau then t equals minus logarithm 0 0.3 tau and we get the time the meat is replaced by a coil explain why there will be an induced amf in the coil while the capacitor is discharging so uh, indicate you should indicate the change in current in discharge circuit leads to change in flux of coil and this produced change in magnetic field which induced emf it is faraday's law last Part, suggest one change to the discharge circuit apart from changes to the coil that will increase the maximum induced EMF in the coil. If we look to the formula from section 11.1, induced EMF depends on uh, time. So the less time, more EMF. Less time, more induced EMF. So, and time depends on uh, tau reaction time. So decrease resistance or capacitance because uh, tau is RC, so either R or C or both you decrease to decrease the time, so change will take uh, so rate of change of flux will be greater, EMF will be greater. This finished the paper. Thank you for your attention. See you next time.